Hey everyone, Justin Perry here from Pangolin Laser Systems. In today's short video, we're going to touch on some of the new and exciting developments coming with the QuickShow 4.0 software release. One of the new and exciting developments with QuickShow 4.0 is our FB4 export system that has been built directly into the software. As a bit of background, FB4 is Pangolin's complete media server for laser shows. FB4 was designed to be built inside of a laser projector, as you see here, and it allows you to control a laser just like a standard lighting fixture. FB4 provides you with three easy control options. The first is what we call lighting console mode, where you can control the laser directly from your lighting console over DMX or ArtNet. The next is what we call streaming mode, where you can control the laser from software over a network connection from your laptop. And the third is called auto mode, where you can create any sort of laser content you want displayed and then schedule FB4 to play that content back automatically at a specified date and time. What makes QuickShow 4.0 so great is that we have built the entire FB4 menu system, uploader, and scheduling tools directly into the software. This allows you to design your own custom laser effects. That could be beam effects, text, graphics, logos, and more, and then you can remotely upload them to your laser with FB4 for automatic playback. It's an awesome feature if you work on permanent installations or events that need to run automatically. You can also upload complete DMX workspaces for control from a lighting console like an MA, HOG, or AVO. This is another great tool for LDs who prefer a higher level of control and customization. Ready? In this example, we're going to take the famous Nike logo inside of QuickShow. We've also previously traced the Just Do It slogan, and now we're going to upload both to the FB4 media server inside our Club Max FB4 laser projector. We'll also upload a simple beam sequence to FB4 as well to add some nice ambient laser effects to our presentation. And finally, we'll schedule it all to play back automatically from our laser with FB4 without any PC or console needed to trigger the content. As you can see, the FB4 media server is automatically playing the content back from our Club Max FB4 laser with no PC or console being used to trigger the content. Only power is connected to the laser. That's it. So we have a perfectly synchronized show playing back automatically from FB4 without us physically having to trigger or play anything. It is truly automatic. Now that we've seen what the FB4 export system can do, let's review what each of the tools do one by one. Test Frames is a tool for uploading stock Pangolin test frames to your FB4 for setup scenarios. DMX Workspaces is a tool that allows you to upload custom DMX profiles to the FB4 for advanced control from today's leading consoles like MA, CAMSYS, ETC, AVO, HOG, and more. Auto Single is used to upload single cues to FB4 that can then be selected from FB4's display and started automatically upon power up of the projector. Auto Playlist is a tool that allows you to organize a simple playlist for playing cues sequentially one by one. Auto Daily Schedule is a more advanced tool that allows you to compose a time-based sequence of animations that will play every day automatically. And our Multi-Day Scheduler is the most advanced option that allows you to upload content to the FB4 and set the day, date, time, week, and playback sequence of each individual cue or show. You can even forecast out special days like holidays for playback. We also have a browser function that allows you to control content on each individual laser with FB4 in your setup. And our FB4 settings menu allows you to manipulate your FB4 control modes, including DMX, ArtNet, ILDA, SMPTE timecode, slave mode, geometric correction, brightness, and more. We also have a file viewer that allows you to preview files uploaded to your FB4 media server. Groups is a new tool used for live laser show control that allows you to organize your workspace in a new way, making it even easier to run complex live laser shows. The principle is based on musical composition. So if you've ever played in a band or played a musical instrument, this is going to come very natural to you. Imagine we have a drum beat line, and then we add a little bass guitar to build things out. Then maybe we add in some electric guitar, but stop the bass to let the guitar shine through. We have different instruments running at different times, performing different things. This is what Groups allows you to do, but with laser show effects. 
In our example here, we have a few rows set up in our workspace, each representing a different group. So in this example, we have a group of liquid sky effects on the top row. Underneath that, we have targeted beam effects in another group. And underneath that, we have some additional abstract content in our final group. Using groups, we can trigger an effect or multiple effects within each group and more accurately control them throughout the course of our live performance. This makes it incredibly easy to build out sophisticated live laser shows with just the click of a few buttons. Parametric images are the newest member to the Pangolin image family, and this tool offers over 20 simple forms that can be used as a shape or synthesized image or as part of a more complex picture. Parametric images allow you to create really complex abstract content with only a few mouse clicks. It's a great tool for laser designers who love abstracts and graphical content, but need a fast and effective tool to get complex animations out there. Let's take a look. Inside the abstract editor, we have a ton of native content you can work with. Then, you can build onto an effect by choosing a parametric image. Parameters can also be changed in real time from an external source such as audio, MIDI, DMX, and so on. So you can design really creative and neat abstract images controlled through external audio, MIDI, or DMX incredibly easy using parametric images. This concludes our overview of QuickShow 4.0. Make sure to download our latest software updates at www.pangolin.com. And be sure to check out the laser shown in this video at www.lasershowprojector.com. We hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.